Oh, she's got it. Oh, no, 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 she's got it. Oh, yes. Look at her standing next to her. How could four of them fit inside her? And she's still running about fit as hell. I mean, look at her. So that, that, is, uh, that, 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 Molly Sheep fans, Cammy's the name, Sheep is the game, and unfortunately, you saw at the end of the last video the, the, the weather outside, I spoke about it, but it was even worse than I thought. I, I was woken up at 2 a.m. with the wind and rain battering the window. It's three degrees, which is far too cold. Um, it, it was lashing when I came out this morning, and we're just heading to to base camp to start the morning rounds at first light and I'm fairly certain this is going to be the worst round I've ever had lamb and sheep fairly certain so prepare yourself it's going to be a disaster it's going to be an absolute disaster I'm fairly certain that's not me being pessimistic it's too cold too wet far too windy the combination is just shocking it was even forecast forecast with some light showers that was just insane what was hitting that window last night anyway you're going to be with me for the journey let's see what we face even though Marissa's just pulling up you can still heal the heal the buds and they're only usually that loud after a storm First victim of this morning. Small lamb born last night, triplet. Mum's got two. Fresh set of triplets born last night. Mum's got two souped and away, one left cold here, so he'll come home with us. Anything we can pick up that's, that's still alive and we'll, we'll get it home. Hey, you lamb, mate. You guys probably can't see any of this because it's so dark. That is uh, quite incredible. Three three lambs born last night, all alive. But I think what we're going to do is leave the two big ones and take Tiny Tot home. It's been a, a no wee Tiny Tot. I know wee Tiny Tot, but it's just not the weather for this. Let's put you put you in with your wee friend here and where it's a fit. Let's, let's put him in here where it's clean. Fresh wee bed of straw there, pal. There you go. Unbelievable. Like, well done, Mum. Found a wee sheltered corner. There you go, we're at two now. But they're alive, that's the main thing. So maybe I said at the start, this is not going to be a happy vlog, so, you know, maybe skip one today, guys. If, if this isn't for you, this is exceptional weather. I want to take, take this wee guy home. Another one, this, to be fair, this one I think has been in the sack. I'm fairly certain this one's been in the sack. What an absolute stonker of a lamb. But yeah, that wee lamb's quite cold. Put a jacket in that one, Marissa, please, will we? Get a jacket on it just in case there's any more rain to come, just to try and give it some cover. But she's a good mum, though. She's a good mum. Cheviot mule's just too bare skin for this job. That's, you know, there's always a lot to learn from these situations, and one of them is Chief Eat Mule just can't cope with the. Two of the Texel just can't cope in this weather. But this is extreme. Folk will be like, why are you lambing outside? And why? Most people lamb outside. The majority of sheep are lambed outside in April when the weather's meant to be better. It's just an exceptional year. dead lamb here with a single but the lamb's actually alive. She 
just lambed it in a wet hole. Right, let's catch up and get this lamb home, see if we can be saved. Probably. Mm, must be, it's pretty close, she's a wee gimmer. Oh, I, I hear you, lamb, we'll get you home. You're hungry, that's what's wrong. She's a good mum, look at her, just stand over the lamb there. What a good mum for a wee gimmer. Come on, lass. You're okay. You've stood by that wee lamb all night. It would have been great if you got it up for a soup, but... Come on, I know I'm bringing your lamb. Yeah, this wee lamb doesn't look good. In a wet spot. Oh, wee lamb, are you just starving and cold? I think we could hotbox you, we might get you. We might be able to save you. Right, Mum, we'll get you back. Spot. Up. Good lad. Let's go. Okay, so that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Three dead lambs, there's one still in the field with its mum that's a single. Uh, we had that one that may die, that big single there. And then we had two hungry, cold triplets to lift. That's a lot better than I was expecting. I think it helps that we are well through lambing now and there's not that many left to go. So there wasn't that many lamb last night. Very, very lucky. Owen, we haven't heard from him yet. He's just next door. We're just going to grab this uh, lamb, get a tube and all that, and then I'll give him my phone and check in. I have texted him saying if he needs me to give me a shout, but um, and we haven't heard from him yet. So, yeah, we're, we're not out of the woods yet, but that's a lot better than I was expecting. Just need to free up a pen or two. So we're going to put this big bruiser of a lamb out that we had yesterday. Well, leave him just now. We'll put him out just before we go, because we need to go back and get that single anyway. Lamb's the tube. You're a good wee mum. guy to let out. He's actually pretty beautiful from a sheep farming's perspective because we've been an incredible prime lamb. Where are you son? Look at him there. He's a beast. Beltex. Not suitable for lambing outdoors. Notice the fact he's got no hair on his head and very little wool on his body. He's very bare we would call him. Oh, muscular though. There you go mum. Steady. She's a lovely ewe as well. Very Aberfieldy again. Off he goes, he'll get a shock to his system out in this weather. Genuinely, genuinely, this isn't me pushing the brand at all. But a buggy like this, CF Moto, for us, has been a lifesaver in this weather. Like, can you imagine sitting on a bike all this weather? Oh, I couldn't. <laughs> oh, my God, like, that is the only. That's the only positive, that's shocking, that's how lamb has been feeling, that's the only positive. But like, my god, we'd have been broke if we were on a bike, so shout out to you guys doing it on a bike. And uh, might I add, not everywhere can have a buggy like this, we're, we're good lowland ground, we can, if you're on the hill or rough terrain, a bike's going to be more suited. Okay, here's the lamby here, let's get him some colostrum. I don't know why I'm bringing the stickers, I feel a bit hard to catch, but we should be milking her out to be honest with you guys, but... We had some left from yesterday's you, and I've just brought it up, heated, ready to go. Got a right heat in his belly. He's another one, just like the last time we looked at. And here's the bother. She, well, she's, I say she's chief at meal, she's maybe more, eh, uh, like an Aberfield type, but it's okay, Mum, we're just giving him some colostrum. Very bare skin, Mums. Oh, nice and warm. 
a wee heat in his belly and speaking of that we're going to go and get a cup of tea bacon roll horrible big bag in her she's only a two crop you as well oh wee lammy don't meh when that's down your throat meh big belly of milk and you're ready to rock wee pal right let's go away for this puddle There you go, stand up. Stand up. Come on. That wee jacket, the wee jackets make a huge difference. So you'll be fine. Good, right. Breakfast time. Uh, Owen phoned, he had... Who do I want to say again? He had one dead lamb. One dead lamb and not many other things had lambed. And excitingly, one of our new sheep that we bought for £184 average has lambed as well. So we'll go and see that after breakfast. So here's the conundrum for you guys. <clears throat> let's, let's lift the mood a bit. Like, lift the mood a bit. Sorry. Happy? Yes. <laughs> yes, we've got a Red Bull again. And look what I did. I bought one as well, but I bought it more as a test of my resilience. Because so, so I bought it and I've sat it in the door and I thought if it gets really bad today, because I, you know, I'm feeling very, very tired and we have our moments. But actually, the secret to tiredness that a lot of people don't realise is this is this. Drink hundreds of this and you actually feel a lot better. So that's what I'm going to do. That is there. We'll, we'll check in at the end of the day if that's still there or if I've nailed it. It's been a long time since I had a Red Bull. Anyway, this is your conundrum, guys. As uh, For the sheep farmers out there and the non-sheep farmers, let's hear in the comments what you do in this situation. With other sheep, we need to check. We haven't been round for, you know, an hour, well, about two hours now, or maybe more, that we have to go and check. This one has just lambed at the roadside here. Fairly nice wee sheltered spot she's chosen, but it's three degrees, gusty, sleety showers. Do you, and the, the lambs are just on the teat, it's just shaking off just now, but it's just on the teat. Do you wander in there and disturb them when they're borderline their first sook, which is the most important thing a lamb can get? A first sook is the first suckling the teat. Or do you leave them and come back in half an hour? And by half an hour, I mean an hour. Marissa, what do you choose? Just say, just leave them. Oh, do you? Yeah. Give her a bit more time to lick them and then put the jackets on. Look at that weather. Oh, oh. Oh, it's shaking itself because it's getting so wet. I think, we, I, th I think the shower of rain has decided it for me. Tip me over the edge. Let's put the jackets on. Let's just go and disturb them and put the jackets on. Yeah. Oh, now, now I've stepped outside the truck. What do you, what do you think now? <laughs> That's just because you don't want to get out the truck and do it. Oh, right. Cracking lambs. Absolutely cracking lambs. These uh, these Cheviot mule lambs have great cover. Look at how lovely and woolly they are. That far away one is actually nice and woolly. Big bag of milk. Jeez. Na zero feeding. Like that's For anyone just joining the channel, some of our set up here, we're lambing 600 sheep between four, five fields. Uh, the farm here and the farm next door. It's all pretty tight and close, which is great. We've got four members of staff, which should be plenty of staff for 600 sheep. Uh, it's just the weather has made things very difficult. We've lost a lot of lambs due to the cold and wet. Not anywhere near as many as some of our friends up the country. They've got it a lot worse. We're just doing one lamb at a time. I find if you take both lambs away, mum starts running away and getting all upset. If you leave her with one lamb and do one at a time, it kind of anchors her there so she doesn't disappear. So Marissa just popping those bags on there. Really simple design. Really good. We ran out of orange ones, we've used so many. But yeah, so that's our, that's our setup here, anyway, just showing it. If you, by the way, guys, uh, as you know, we're getting hammered. YouTube's just demonetised the, all the videos we're putting on for lambing this year. They just get so soft, it's unbelievable. Um, we're just trying to show you real life out here and, and, and what, what we farmers in the UK are dealing with just now. Let me just wipe the screen. Farmers in the UK are dealing with just now. So if you would like to support the channel, Please do jump on the merch store. We'll put the web address on the, the screen and the, the link is in the bio below. But um, yeah, so the, the videos are demonetized, but I appreciate all the support so far in that. You can also become a member. We put some of the, the kind of more graphic stuff and, and we don't, we have to chop a lot out to make the video a reasonable length of time. And we chop out some of the more graphic stuff. Like in the, yesterday's video, we had a lamb, that two lambs in the same day that both put their, their intestines out through their navels which is pretty grim stuff and 
there's one thing getting demonetized, there's another maybe getting a total strike off YouTube. So I try to find the balance. So that is on the members uh, and other little things like that will be on there as well. Just things that I can't really put on the public domain. I appreciate the support, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Marissa could care less. <laughs> She's going back to college tomorrow. This is her last day until Saturday. <laughs> She's like, yes. No wonder. Lamin is usually a laugh. You're usually like, oh, it's usually just good fun. We have we've hardly. I think I've, I've got down to my my hoodie once. This lamin, and that was when I was throwing straw bales in the pickup. The rest of the time, it's been the, the better craft jacket, the soft shell jacket. Uh, I've certainly never been down to a t-shirt. This whole lamin, and that's that's unique. Okay, one of our other regular jobs is lambs. What they do is the lambs will, well, they might go through for a wee nosy or they'll fall asleep at the bottom of the fence and then they can't get back through. So after three days of trying to undo this gate, Marissa's finally got it undone. Oh my God, that's an eye catcher. So we'll nip down here through this field. Is this wheat? Marissa, is this wheat? You didn't listen? No, I can imagine. Part of your, part of your uh, problem. Right, if you, we go wide, you go wide. I'll know, I don't want to crush too much wheat, so let Marissa go wide. I'll stand where I am, in case they come back this way. Need to provide compensation to the farmer for all this wheat that Marissa's trod on. She's got smaller feet than me, so it's half the cost of if I was to do it, you know, it'd be double. I'm a size 12, she's a size 6, is that how it works? Oh, little lammies, Marissa's coming to get you. Oh, here it comes back towards me, and here we go, and they're big, strong lambs, so oh, I'm gonna panic. Oh, she's got it, oh, no, 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 she's got it, oh, yes. Great work. Over the fence they go. Back to mum. Big, strong lambs. Boom. Boom. Love a happy ending. So it's, it's a never ending, oh, we kind of want her back with that other one a wee bit. She might stand there with that lamb. I'll go and bring this one and put the two together. Oh no, maybe she'll go to that one. It's a never ending uh, issue, especially with gimmers. Do you go in and put jackets on or do you leave them? Definitely jackets, the wind is so cold, like it would cut you in two. And you can see this wee lamb's cold, although we've just tubed, tubed them some nice warm colostrum. Hang on Marissa, put the two of them back together. Don't let that go. It's okay, mum. You've got your two wee lambs. You're a good wee mum. Lovely wee bag on her. That girl actually came from the Museum of Rural Life in East Kilbride. A traditional blue faced Leicester used. My favourite kind of mule. Scotch mule. It reminds me of the glory days. 2003. What age were you in 2003? Wasn't wasn't it existed. wasn't existed. It didn't quite <laughs> exist. I think. Yeah, a twinkle in our mum's eye. Two thousand and five, you were born. That's mental, mental. I was actually working on this farm. I'd been working on this farm for a year when you were born. That's frightening. Frightening. Um, so. Owen has been with us now, that's mum as well. Oh mum, you're repping the better craft as well, looking good. Give us a spin. Tremendous. Uh, so Owen's been with us now for uh, about a week, or just over a week. 
Uh, you don't get much glory on, you're the one, you're usually working away, you're selling that. You don't, everyone says in the comments, well done to uh, Cammy, Lizzie and Marissa, but nobody gives so in. Mum, you don't get much of a shout out either. Ah, you do, you do actually, people do get. <coughs> but Owen's been cutting about in very cheap green waterproofs, so we thought we'd present him with his very own Breta craft gear. Let's just give us a wee look at the Owen's that comes out of the packet there. This is, this is uh, a bit of an advert as well because um, we obviously sell better craft gear as well. Beautiful. You're going to look so good in this. Um, rather than this really awkward watching you get dressed, we'll just jump to it being on. <gasps> and there we go. The kit is on. How's it feel, mate? Oh, brilliant. Yeah? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say that. Uh, does it actually feel quite good? Yeah. You look good. Look at these wee magnets. Love that. Yeah, let's go and uh, christen it then. You look like, you look like the, the, first get, the first day in the job. The new, new guy turns up with the, the clean gear on. Look, look at this guy. First day in the job. Okay, so the power of the hot box again. Little lamy that we picked up from the field just previously is up and at it. A wee bit of colostrum. And then little lamy that was at absolute, absolute death's door. And the mud. Hey Lammy, hey Lammy. Is uh, almost at his feet. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, so we'll keep them topped up. They'll need an extra wee dunt across from me to come back actually, because I've only had 60 mil each. So we'll leave them, just give them an extra. Well actually they could go in the pet lamb shed now, couldn't they? Let's just turn it down a little bit. But we'll just keep them keep them warm just now and we'll open this. Open this for plenty of air. Just get them right head up, really get them moving. Get them topped up with colostrum. The power of the hot box, but it literally brings lambs back to life and it has saved so many in this weather. <sighs> Shout out to all the fans out there. Cause it, get it, cause it's a fan that makes it hot. It, it literally is, it's the ultimate sheep fan. Boys and their big toys. Woo! Fent, is that a good one? Is that a good one? It's green, everyone says they like green tractors. Gimmel there had triplets, just lifted the smallest one. Great big lambs, but unfair on a gimmer, especially in this weather. Come on, this is. I'm not even sure if this can be correct, but it looks correct. Wait till you see this. This girl's got quads. It looks like she's had quads, right? She's a gimmer, first time lammer. A gimmer is a two year old sheep, her first time lambing. She's got four lambs sitting with her. She had two this morning. Then I came back the last time, she had three, now I've come back again, she has four. They look the same size, they look like they could, I mean they look far too big to be quads out of gimmer though, that is the only thing, they are far too big. Oh no, she doesn't like that lamb sucking, does she? They can't be quads. The only way this could be possible, and I promise this is honestly true, so where she was wintered, we scanned 99 sheep, but there should have been 100, and we thought, hmm, one must have died or something and we forgot about it. And then the farmer phoned and said, there's a sheep running about the steading. Is it possible? No, it's not possible. Yeah, can he be? But there's nothing else about. You can't tell me that gimmer's had four lambs. I'd like to see her hitting one of the lambs, then I'd feel better. She's got a sore foot as well. Right, so... My thinking here is... Am I going to have to lift two lambs here? But it's working out... If I'm going to... Ah, oh, what has happened here? No, she's not happy about something, surely. I'd like to see her nudge one of them, then I would know. She was, they were all sitting there quite happy until I came over. So that, that, uh, the, the, the <laughs> I don't know what it sounds like me, excuses. There's no way I missed a set of quads and marked her as a twin. It has to be the sheep we missed. Has to be. If she's had quads. How's a, a wee gimmer having four lambs that size? Oh, that can't be right either. 
Like that, right, that one's got quite a red, fresh navel, right? Let's, let's see what else we've got. Light in spot. There's just nothing else about that could be the mum. I can see a lamb there. I just want to see the navels are all wet. By God, they are. They're such an even set of lambs. Like, you tell me that sheep. Oh, she's run. Oh, now she's getting too wound up. I need to back off. This is going to end up in a disaster. Look at this. Here it comes. Here it comes. Lamb number four. That hat, it must, like, folks, give me a slagging. Give me a slagging. But it has to be that sheep. I'm not even making that story up. I promise you that is actually true. But it just seems a bit ridiculous. It's ridiculous that a gimmer would have four and ridiculous that she'd be the one that was missed as well. How's that canny be? Her lambs, look at the size of them. Not not a single bit of feeding, no feeding at all. There's nothing else about here that's had a lamb. These are all older lambs, their mum will be grazing down there somewhere. How can this be? Because it looks like she's got them all up and souked as well. Like, I, <laughs> I'm going to have to lift two of them. Or lift one of them. I would, I would hate to leave a gimmer running with three lambs. Let's lift two of them. Got a fair few pets now. I've just been lifting every triplet today because it's so cold and wet. I cannot believe that's her quads. Look at it standing next to her. How could four of them fit inside her? And she's still running about fit as hell. I mean, look at her. Right, let's pick two, unfortunately. Aye, they are definitely all fresh. Now I've got a bit closer. We lamb, you the slowest, you come in with me. It's an absolute unit with a full belly. How can this be? I'm not exactly new to this job, but that is one of the most special things I've ever seen. Because those lambs are absolutely solid, huge, and off a gimmer. If a regular, you know, older age you had produced four lambs like that, I would have said it was incredible. I don't actually think I want to take this one. I think this is actually one of the better ones. I think I want that wee one at the back there. Oh, they're just they're running too bloody well. I'll be back in an hour anyway. There's one lambing at the hedge there, so I'm back in an hour. Let her run with three. See what happens. Should I left her running with four just for a laugh? She's done so well. Right. Wow. Just out on the final rounds here. Mum has joined me today for the final rounds. She's all shy. And this triplet is just lambed in the corner here. Three cracking big lambs. Three crop you. Quite bare skin, but there's a change in there. The forecast tells me that was the last bad day done. Still not that warm the next few days, but the worst of the rain should be finished. There is hope in the air. Triplet. Twin, single, twin over the back, and that one's still to lamb. Good to see. She actually just opened that gate and popped her through there just now. Ah, oh, she'll be okay if she stays up here tonight. They won't go far with fresh triplets. You're a wee kind mum. Look at you just standing there. Oh, look at those big tits, though. Oh, that's that's a that's asking for hungry lambs. I'll pop back down with the jug and get them milked out and tubed. Left the jug up at the farm, but yeah, we'll bring them back down. Milk her out because those big teats won't do. Well, this is very, very lucky. I just came back to check a girl that was acting suspicious and just as well I did because I'm fairly certain she's stuck on her back you know, I'm fairly certain oh but she only just started lambing but the feet are there so we're going to lamb you lass Okay lass let me just get this glove on now the GoPro's out of battery so I'm just going to have to lamb this one off camera guys It's getting dark anyway and we said we'd wrap it up there I'll work away on the night shift and we'll see you tomorrow This, this is a spring evening 
still, it's dry, and there's a little bit of hope in there. See you tomorrow for another one.